Oh boy, I'm gonna. I'm feeling like not behaving very well today. Um, guess who came by today? Yep, our good friends from JW.org. Uh, young sister, all by herself, knocked on the door. By the time I had opened the door just a little bit, her hand was already shoving itself through the crack of the door in the door frame, the tract in her hand. Imagine that, you know, it's the height of rudeness. I mean, I'm opening the door and all of a sudden just, what the hell? And uh, she said, just sharing something with our neighbors. Have a good day. And I said, whoa, 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 wait a minute. What is this? And uh, I said, she goes, if you have any questions, go to JW.org. Just use your iPhone and scan this little mark on this thing here, and, and you'll see a video. And I'm like, I looked at her, and she was walking away in a rush. She had no book bag. She had no Bible. She was wearing a, a fairly heavy winter coat and uh, a pocket stuffed with those ridiculous pieces of paper. And uh, it, just, it just irritated me to no end. You know, at this point, the rocks would do a better job or proclaiming the gospel than these poor people that are being governed by this governing body who doesn't actually govern anything but um, it just it just screams desperation the governing body just wants as many people to get their hands on these things as possible and uh, what I'm seeing with this, the directing people directly to JW.org, and now the governing body members each um, playing a part, um, getting their big faces on, on a TV screen, it, uh, it's like they're micromanaging and just a bunch of control freaks that just nothing works right unless they are doing it themselves and so they've got these poor people out there directing them to a website and incidentally I, I saw a video from Jerry Jones that said that apparently JW.org is laying viruses on people um, I heard his phone call with the guy and the guy's denying it it is possible for a, a, a server to pick up particular I mean it could do it in a like in a global setting and just send out a virus on its own to anybody that touches it and even anybody that doesn't touch it it, it could just crawl the web waiting but it could also be looking for specific IP addresses and if they know certain people that uh, that are apostates and they're able to now that they have their own telecom company they wouldn't be very far stretch for them to figure out an IP address and target specific people, you can just write it into the code and, and it would just do it whenever the IP address touches their, their server. But anyway, uh, the, uh, the governing body, with their, they're having to show their face more and more to get the oohs and ahs and get people to go into the kingdom halls to watch this freak show that they have going and uh, it's sad you know because I can just see these governing bodies you know they're all, they're seeing everything fall apart on them uh, they're losing money left and right in sex abuse cases and they've got government after them for one thing or another and so they're I can just picture them like like Skeletor you know, just ranting and raving in their little governing body office up at the top of the ivory tower and just, if I'm not there, nothing is done right. You know, they, they, they feel like they've got to get out there and, and do it themselves. And what that's doing 
There's an old adage that goes something like, familiarity breeds contempt. And well, they were isolated and nobody knew what they looked like. And, you know, it was such a big treat, you know, when they come down out of the tower and step on the platform at an assembly and, ooh, the governing body came to give a talk. This is going to get old real quick and people are going to realize just what kind of buffoons, fools, and idiots these men really are. They are not inspired. They are not inspiring. They are ridiculous. And they're put on uh, affectations and and vocal calisthenics like welcome our brothers and sisters it's just so stupid and they've got these poor witnesses out there breaking their backs trying to shove as many desperately shoving paper in front of people just to get to the next door and I mean this sister was probably bucking to get her pioneer hours this day she was probably out all day and got her pioneer hours for the whole month, you know, 10-hour pioneer. Wow. But, uh, no, that was what my morning was like. I was blessed to have a interaction with somebody that was very special to me. And uh, and so that, that nasty part of the day just disappeared. But I just felt like I had to just comment on, on the latest escapades of the local JWs. I hope everybody's having a... A great day. Everybody have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Remember the things that you're thankful for. Um, what's important is family and friends. And uh, I know a lot of us don't have our family and friends because of the shunning policy of the Watchtower. But you guys have me. And I have you. And we have each other. And so let's be thankful for... For being out of the organization for one thing and thankful for the friendship that we have among each other regardless of our backgrounds and our and our own private stories I mean, we all have that in common the watchtower and getting out of it and uh, in all our diversity um, there can still be unity and uh, I love you all and I hope you have a great Thanksgiving and happy holidays.